Hi, family. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the middle of your screen, we have Donta Foreman, the Angry Runs Player of the Week. And to be honest, I was not expecting this card to be as good as it is. So coming in is six foot one, two hundred and thirty five pounds. So you already know that he's about to get those Fallen 4 animations. He's going to get those crazy line push animations. But what sets this card apart from every other running back in the game, not only the weight, but the speed and agility to go along with it. 91 speed, 88 excel, 90 agility with a 72 catching, 85 carrying. You know, you would like that to be a little bit better. But 88 change of direction, 91 truck, and 91 break tackle. And if we go down here, you see that he has a 90 juke move. Only an 85 stiff arm. But with that 90 juke move, he is now able to get unstoppable bruiser, which all you need is two rushing touchdowns, I believe. And he also comes equipped with jukebox. So without further ado, let's go on and see how angry Dante Foreman can really be. What better way to go ahead and start off an offensive gameplay than other than some defense? Other than some defense, like always, not sure how many clips I'm going to go ahead and show you all with this. But let's see if we can go ahead and lock up and get Donta Foreman out here really quickly. Oh, he almost threw one. He almost threw one to me. Not quite sure what kind of read that was, but apparently, hey, he is used to it. All right. I don't know why I'm just expecting a corner route right there. And, yep, always watch out for the corner route. That's all you got to do. Just always watch out for that corner route. And you're set. All right, let's see what he goes to right here. We have a little bit of a cover two with a Mabel on the left-hand side. And we're right there. One thing about it, they're always going to go back to it twice in a row. Now, let's go on and get Dante out here. All right, coming out. I do not know what type of defense this is, is but I want to say this is a nickel defense. Oh, oh, we almost got loose right there. Don't, don't let Dante get loose. All right, so we're just going to come out a few, few minor run plays. Okay, I see that he's constantly switching over. I guess he's trying to confuse me on who he is using. Ah, uh, looks like we're going to have to pass right here. But the thing about it is, Dante Foreman does have a 72 catching. But at the end of the day, I, I need the win. I need the win at the end of the day. So let's go on and see what he's giving us right here. And we got Jamar Chase on the sidelines. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and get Dante activated into this passing game. Not quite sure what type of defense he is running. Hey, we still going to throw it. We still going to throw it. Even though Palomalu was draped on him, he was on him like white on rice. But let's see if we can hit this edge. Oh, oh. See, that's the thing. That's what you can't do with like your Derrick Henry's or your Chris Brooks. And frankly, I am a huge fan of that Chris Brooks card. I am. I really am. But one thing that Chris Brooks does not have is that jukebox ability stop. I want to say that you're able to get it as a unstoppable X factor. If I'm not mistaken. But other than that. You are unable to get that any other type of way. And as we're making a statement drive right now. But let's go ahead. Hey, we're, we're about to do some hickory dickory. We got some trickery right here with Donta. If I can ever get to it. Let's see if we can catch him slipping. Oh, oh we were so close. So close to going ahead and getting that. Or at least I felt like we were close. So if we're not able to go ahead and get uh, Vontae into the end zone. We're, we're definitely looking at Kyle Pitts on this corner route. All right, there. Can we hop all that? Touchdown. Come on. We strike first. 
Oh, he got me with it. No, he did it. Get the ball. Let's go. That might be it for him, though. That might be the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. That might be it for him. I don't know. Oh, are we able to? See, I don't really just run a lot of I form, though. I don't. But since I had ran stretch that way, do you think he's going to run commit that way as well? Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh we, if I. Oh, my gosh. If I was to able to get out of that trash, that would have been amazing. Now, let's see if we can get a little bit more separation with Dante this time. Oh, my gosh. Did you at least trip him? Okay. You at least tripped him. He got bumped on that other drag route. So, it looks like we're about to get back on offense. I mean, back on defense. I mean, is he really about to just run this all the way down the field? I mean, he hands it off right there, but that doesn't, it's, it's not a good run formation to begin with. I'm pretty sure you run that formation just for that RPO swing route. Oh, that's a strip. And we're down at the one yard line. All right, Dante. Or Dante. Let's see what you can do for us. Now, I wonder if he's going to be expecting that quick. No, he's not. Oh, -wee. I just need a little bit more breathing room with Dante. I don't know why I keep calling him Dante, Dante. Don Quavius. So let's see if we can block that tight end right there and get a little bit more space for Dante Foreman to run. To run. Come on. Get him in that pass game. That Texas route right there going to beat man coverage 99.9% .9 of the time. But I think he's getting the the gist that we're only trying to feed Dante. So let's go on and catch him off guard a little bit with a quick little hot dotty. A hot dotty. So now we're about to audible down into this Trey Y flex right here. Get him, get him all confused and confuzzled. Juke back inside. Oh, we I can get sticky with the best of them sometime, bro. Maybe he doesn't see this coming. We got we got Foreman lined up as receiver. He saw it coming. He saw it coming. Well, this is going to be an interesting gameplay. I'm keeping him in the game. See, now I... Who I could, you know what? Just because you stayed in this game way longer than what you should have, way longer than what you should have. I'm kills, yeah. So let's go on and hop into this final review for Dante Foreman. So, anger runs Dante Foreman. Is he worth it? I would say he's worth it, but to a certain extent. Currently, I want to say that he is going for about 800k. I was lucky enough to go ahead and pick this card up for about 760k somebody had put him up for and frankly i do love me some chris brooks but just having that ability to get jukebox and also the potential to get an unstoppable bruiser to where you can really get the best of both for us along with the speed i would say if you're looking to pick this card up give it a little bit of time probably get him for around like 600k because as you can see, like just this past weekend, we just got the uh, legendary ex Adrian Peterson. And just like that, it's Wednesday now. And that card is now pretty much the second best running back. Not saying that he's not good, but Dante Foreman with the height and the weight and also the jukebox and the X Factor that he's able to get stacked. Hey, you can't really just beat that. But that'll just about do it for me, everyone. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and also subscribe. Hey, we're on that grind to 1,000 subscribers. And as always, I do love you all tremendously. And until next time, my brothers and sisters, I'm out.